In this video, I'll show you how to create a lesson and configure its settings. Lesson is my preferred method for adding content because it allows me to branch and customize learning paths, and it allows me to add interactivity by adding questions throughout it. First, I'm going to add the lesson activity and configure its settings. To start off, I'll give it a name. Next, you'll configure any other settings you'd like to set. First, let's take a look at the appearance settings. The file pop-up option allows you to upload a file for students to display under linked media in the side column. And if you are using the lesson menu, it will appear below it. I like to show the progress bar because it gives the students an idea of how far they are in the lesson. If you would like students to see the ongoing score, make sure you set this display to yes. You will gain more screen real estate by setting the display menu to no, but you'll lose some navigation options. If you are creating an interactive scenario, you'll probably want to set this to no. In other cases, you'll probably want to set this to yes. You may choose to set the lesson to display the menu, but only once reaching a certain percentage in the lesson by setting the minimum grade to display menu option. So in the case of a scenario, you might want to only set this to a passing percentage, which will force the student to go through the entire lesson on their first attempt, and then once obtaining a passing grade, they can see the left menu for review. The slideshow option allows you to display the lesson with a fixed width and height. At some point, you might need to change the maximum number of answers setting. This controls how many answers and distractors may appear for a question in the lesson when you are setting it up. It just affects the teacher's view, not the student's view. But if it doesn't have enough listed here, you might not be able to input the number of options you'd like. You can easily modify this later if you need to. I'm going to set the use default feedback option so that it doesn't display. And lastly, the link to an activity option allows you to select an activity from the drop down list. This will display a link at the end of the lesson to navigate to that activity. Next, configure the availability settings. You can limit the time for completing the activity as well as the dates that it is available. You can also set a password here if desired. Next, configure the flow control settings. I typically allow for student review. I don't provide the option to try again on the same question. I like to allow the maximum number of attempts. And I always leave the answer after correct answer set to normal follow lesson path. I leave the option number of pages to show set to zero so that all pages are shown. Only change this when showing pages in a random order. For example, when action after correct answer is set to show an unseen page or show an unanswered page. Now I'll configure the grade settings. Make sure you always configure these settings. If the activity is graded, select the grade type and configure the scale or maximum points. If desired, select the grade category. Optionally, set a passing grade. If you are grading the activity, set practice lesson to no. Turn on custom scoring to add point values to correct responses. As a best practice, use this feature to ensure scoring occurs properly, especially if you are using jumps to various pages. I usually allow retakes and set the handling to maximum. You can set these to your own preferences depending on what you are trying to accomplish. The minimum number of questions option I typically leave set at zero. If you are just using content pages, make sure you set this to zero because this determines how the grade is calculated for the activity. Like other activities, you can set the outcomes, common module settings, restrict access, and activity completion settings. Since my lessons are typically graded, I set the activity completion to be viewed and graded in order to be tracked as complete. The lesson has been added and I'm ready to start building it out. In this video, I showed you how to add the lesson activity and how to configure its settings. In the next video in this series, I'll show you how to add content pages and question pages. Plus, I'll show you how to branch within those.